Hello everyone and welcome to Mass Analytics Masterclasses where we'll be sharing with you useful tips when it comes to running your marketing mix modeling end-to-end. -end. In the previous course, we have covered modeling, regression, model selection, ROI, and contribution calculation. In today's course, we will cover three of the most important techniques when it comes to run contemporary marketing mix models. The first one is poor regression, the second one is log linear, and the third one is nested models. Now, reflecting on the marketing mix modeling workflow, we are now at step number four, where actually we are starting to model the data that we have. And that's where you need to take a decision on which algorithm you'll be using. Are you going to use standard regression, linear regression, or are you going to opt for a pull regression or a nested models or a log linear? In master, you would be able to perform your pull regression, your nested models, and your log linear in the module model. And actually, you can also concatenate some of those methods. For example, you can run a pull regression while applying a log linear transformation and at the same time nest some of your models in order to obtain nested models. Nested modeling. So what is the difference between traditional and interactive modeling? In a traditional setting, each media and marketing variable influences sales separately. For example, Search activity influences sales. TV influences sales. But there is no interaction in this traditional setting between search and television. We know, however, that in real life, this is not always the case. Take the example of you running a big brand campaign. Some customers have been exposed to that TV campaign. And as a, cons as a consequence, they buy your brand directly and that would be the direct impact of that TV campaign. However, some other customers, before running into the stores, they will be searching for your brand and they convert online. Here we are talking about an interaction between search and TV. If we did not have that TV campaign, probably we wouldn't have created that search activity that ended up converting into customers. And that is actually the indirect impact of television that should be accounted for when you compute the total contribution of our TV activity in an interactive setting. So obviously, interactive modeling is much more salient than traditional modeling. The problem is it's very difficult to apply OLS estimation to this type of models. Remember, in our regression analysis, and if you want to apply OLS, we should be assuming that actually our explanatory variables are independent. However, in the context of interactive modeling, our regressors will have a correlation with the other term. This is called an endogeneity problem. And because of that, we cannot really apply OLS estimation when we know that there is an interaction between our independent variables. So we need to find a solution. Nested modeling presents many benefits. Probably the most important one is the fact that we are capable of measuring both the direct and indirect impact of every single channel. That will allow us to adjust contribution and ROI to reflect the true full contribution of every single media and marketing variable. In the graph you see in this slide, we have different relationships between the different media channels and all those relationships are taken into consideration when we estimate the main model. For example, search influences Facebook, Facebook influences sales, and all those interactions are accounted for when we estimate this model. Obviously, we cannot use OLS, and the method that we are using in order to estimate these equations is actually the 2SLS method. So how does the 2SLS method work? So imagine that we have two equations. The first equation is the main equation. For example, sales are influenced by search and TV. And the second equation is search is influenced by TV and other variables. Now, the first model is considered or is called the main model, and the second model is actually called the reduced model, or sometimes we call the secondary model. So the way that estimation works is that we first estimate the secondary model, we estimate the coefficients, and then we plug that equation into the main model in order to estimate both the direct and indirect impact. 
So if we have a variable that appears in both the secondary model and the main model, it will have a direct impact through the main model and an indirect impact through the secondary model. If we have a variable that only appears in the main model, it will only have a direct impact because there is no impact through the secondary models. So that's how actually we can use two SLS in order to estimate both direct and indirect impacts. In order to adopt a contemporary approach to run your marketing mix models, it is advisable to depart from classic modeling and use more advanced techniques. For example, pre regression could be used if you are interested in the granularity of your regional analysis or if you want to look at your sales by DMA or by store. If you have data available, it is always advisable to run models at the regional level and use pooled regression as opposed to national modeling. It's also advisable to not use any more additive models and move towards their multiplicative counterpart because actually they better depict how things happen in real life. Not only that, but using log linear models will help you differentiate between relative and incremental variables and at the same time, it can also help you measure the synergy between pairs of variables. Now, we know that the world in which we are living is an interactive world. So when we run different campaigns and when we use different channels, those channels interact with one another. So assuming that there is no interaction between those channels is not anymore an option. So that's why it's very important that we acknowledge that interaction and we use the appropriate method that solves for that. For example, using nested models will allow me to acknowledge that interaction and nest different equations into the main model in order to measure the direct and indirect impact of each channel. The next course will be about optimization, so see you then.